Day 2. Out in my wanderings, I have been discovering many wondrous things. One such discovery has been large luminous crystals protruding from the earth. They come in a staggering array of colors and emit a soothing glow that soothes the mind and energizes the body. I have decided to bring some samples of these back to my humble abode for further study. Oh, oh, let's hop out, let's hop out of our chair. There we go. Oh, let's throw shit on the ground, because I, I always do that. Anyhow, hey everybody, how you doing? Lazarus here, and welcome back to Ascension of the Technomancer. As I have alluded to in my journal notes here, I believe we're going to get into a little bit of magical working here today, since I have had several requests for this in, uh, on the Feed the Beast subreddit. So today, without further ado, we are going to get into chromaticraft at the very least we're gonna get started as much as we can now I got to tell you this was no small feat um, the book the chromic lexicon here let's pull up the recipe eventually he's going it's a lot of, it's a lot of items man it takes it's a lot of time to search through all that it's, it's like 80,000 something items it's, it's ridiculous so let's click on that click in here our recipe for the chromic lexicon requires the following colors of crystal we need black dark blue green yellow red and white also a little bit of glowstone and some um a book so okay glowstone and a book we're real short on glowstone i did make another trip to the nether off camera got some basic nether supplies like some quartz and some glowstone it uh it did end in death because you know it just it always does it's didn't have any technical difficulties this time though that was that was good so now they ran executed just fine everything was all good it is nighttime we're gonna go sleep that shit off before we have problems so that's good um but those fucking crystals i mean they're like everywhere right they're they really are they're not hard it's not hard to find a crystal but when you want a specific color like things were just not working out for me in getting these freaking crystals like the white and the black ones took the longest and beyond that like finding all those colors i had i think the green one that was all i had or maybe the yellow one the other colors took me a couple hours to find except for the black one i was planning on recording multiple episodes this weekend but i really wanted to do chromaticraft stuff because it was requested that we get started on this people are real excited about it and whoever's watching this i mean hey don't let, never let it be said no matter how many fans there are i'm there for the fans dude i'm there for you guys you want to see this i want to bring it to you and uh this fucker 16 hours or so of playing yeah, I mean, I got some, you know, various miscellaneous, like, side items that are useful, but, you know, not as, like, if I was specifically looking for something else, like, you know, I need more steel, I could make more blast furnaces, bang out more steel, go get more iron, eat, increase our charcoal production, whatever. I could work on that and make a lot of progress. This was just, like, miscellaneous side items that were gathered. So, I mean, it was helpful, but it was not really directed. And I mean, there's plenty of things we really need to work on. Like this place is fucking tiny and it just keeps getting more cramped. Like we're sticking more chests and more of these stupid storage drawers in here and it just keeps getting more cramped. And little Mr. Pig statue, yeah, barely have room for this, Mr. Oinker. Ugh, I have a whole box of these fucking statues downstairs. I mean, it's like half a double chest. It's like a single chest worth of them. Some of them I have duplicates. So, all right, we need two glowstone. Boom, boom. And then we need a book. So, hopefully, we will stop being so stupid at chromatic craft. And maybe we'll understand some more things. I guess I have to make a book. Do I not have any paper? Really? It's just going to be it's just going to be trouble the whole way, huh? It's just going to give me shit the whole friggin' way. I don't even have a book. All right, we'll make a book. That's fine. I can do that. Uh, let's make some paper. Let's make a stack of paper, just because there's tons of reeds. I haven't picked them in forever. Um, I need, oh, I know what you do. You need... What we do, I think, is... No, we don't. What we do, we need these. You gotta, like, pulverize this shit to make chad. Whatever that is. I guess it's, like, paper mush. I think we can use this. I think this one works. Or maybe we need a Greg Tech one. I don't know, let's find out. With my, I mean, I've got a couple Greg Tech ones made up, so we just... Uh, 
Also, you'll notice that uh, we're in a new version of the pack. This is 350. We've got this like crafting thing here, crafting utilities. It's nice. Like I could take this here and hold shift and like boom, and that's cool. And you can make a reed block. That's pretty neat. I didn't know that was a thing. And you like clear the grid, force clear grid, drops items if necessary. Okay, that's cool. All right, so that clearly didn't work. We need the Greg Tech one. So put this away. But these are food based. And I guess that makes sense, because these ones in here are, like, mineral-based. Where the fuck is it? Here's one. Okay. A, um, what is that? That is a wrought iron mortar and pestle. So, put this here. Pop these here. Take this. And that gives us two chad. Okay, great. Or er, two chad a pop. So, we got 42 chad. Put this across here. Then we go, boop, boop. And we do that. Are you fucking serious? You're gonna... Ugh. I hate you. I hate you. That is so frustrating. You can't... Because it's, cause it's got to give back on it. Give back things are weird. You might have noticed, mate, that it gets also... It gets weird when you want to do things like, say, use a bunch of bottles to make a bunch of treated wood, like a bunch of creosote bottles. It has the annoying tendency to eat up all your bottles and only do the recipe once. And it's just... It's because of quirks and the give back functionality of the minecraft engine and consequently mine tweaker or craft tweaker at this point we're using the craft the version called craft tweaker now i think another guy took over the project i'm just grabbing everything while i ramble i think a different developer took over the project so it's not the guy who wrote mine tweaker now it's somebody else who forked it forked it real good and uh is calling it craft tweaker now and versions for new versions for 1710 and all versions for higher versions of Minecraft use Craft Weaker, so blah, 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 blah. But uh, I don't think you can work around it. I have tried substantially to make, say the specific, specifically the treated wood thing with the creosote bottles, I've tried to make that work correctly. So like you have like a whole bunch of wood and a whole bunch of creosote bottles in the middle, and you want to just turn those all into treated planks all at once and have it like not fuck up and only make one copy of the recipe and eat all your creosote bottles. And I have so far had no luck. So, hey, if anyone knows how to do that and like you would like to share that information with me in the comments, I would be very appreciative. I am so far into the impression it's just the game engine just does that it's the same reason why um mushroom soup doesn't stack that's yeah, there was a whole nother development fiasco with mushroom soup and natura but um yeah the reason why you can't stack mushroom soup is because it gives you back the um the uh, bowl so therefore you if you had a stack of them when you ate one this inventory slot might not be empty but you're going to generate an empty bowl and you may not have any place to put it so i guess that's the game avoids having to delete the item by not letting you stack things that are going to give you buy back an item much like uh, potions so that's our, our inner, inner game code lore section for the day concluded now that we've covered that all right can i just Please tell me I can I can click this in because it's going to take me fuck. Oh, thank you. Chromic Lexicon. Oh, God, it's taken so long. Yeah, I know. The default settings, I could, I could have just given you all the book. But I don't want you having any items that I didn't say should be there, damn it. So you'll get the book when you earn the book. And same with me. I earned the book. So let's look at this. Entry level. What is this? This is the Lexicon. Since you are learning this, as you go along, you'll be required to piece together your understanding from various fragments of information. Rarely will one item or event hold all of the information you need. In particular, various notes, though incomplete on their own, might become more complete when assembled together. Also, for some reason, sneaking when navigating the book accelerates this process. Mm -hmm. I believe that if we shift click yeah that's what it is this is where you stuff the info fragments in of which we have none uh i hope that doesn't stop us oh progress no it doesn't stop us thank god also i know how to at least make an elemental manipulator and hopefully the crafting table so let's see what we got here uh world floor yeah i found the bottom of the map it's down just just go down you'll find it buried hollows Surely many, are treasure, many treasures lie underground. I'd love to find one of these things. I think they show up in Plains Biomes and a couple other ones. I don't know. I haven't found one yet, but I'm pretty sure it's just like a little itty-bitty one-block fucking hole, and that's it, and you got to stumble across that. And they're just below the surface. It's not as bad as the Ocean Temple. There's a thing called the Ocean Temple, and it's, it's uber-fucking-rare. I know Rika doesn't like his structures spawning all stupid.
stupidly in the world and haphazardly and I I mean that, that is very nice I can't stand it when structures spawn and look stupid it really irks me but at the same time it makes them real rare like the ocean temple's kind of big I assume that's why it's so rare is that he wanted to orient it properly and make it like you know so you're not going to be able to see three of them right next to each other it kind of ruins the lore in that case too so I understand why it's rare it's just a little too rare also, if you have an alternate terrain generator, like something that affects the shapes and not just the biome, let's see the shapes like this. I guess it's not, Chromaticraft isn't compatible with that. I almost had realistic terrain gen in the newer versions of the pack that had Chromaticraft, but Rika advised me that it was not a good plan to do that. And so, I, you know, I conducted some tests on my own, scientifically minded development personnel, you know, that I am. Uh, yeah, sure enough, I hunted around for hours and couldn't find one. I mean, I hunted around for hours before I found one in vanilla too, but still. So, dye trees. We've found some of these. Technicolor trees come in all sorts of colors. I wonder if there's something special about them. They all seem to drop berries and dyes of their color, so that has to count for something. Now, we have some of those. I don't know what the fuck they're for. Oh, well, there's a couple of dye tree saplings in here, too. Now, the way dye trees seem to be working, at least from my observation, is any kind of tree in the game. This is just dye. Any kind of tree in the game can and will randomly appear as a dye tree. Here they are. There's a gray one. Uh, it's also gibberish. Uh, this is light blue gibberish. This is like a darker blue gibberish. And this is white gibberish. And also, it's shit bone meal when I broke it. I think this is a... Yeah, this is a Sakura sapling, not a dye tree. It looks like pink gibberish, though, but it's not. We understand this. We're not too stupid to know what this is. These ones, maple sapling. Yeah, no, these ones, we are too stupid to understand these. I mean, it's clearly some kind of sapling, but I picture your character just, like, grunting retardedly and, like, trying to shove the sapling into his face or up his butt or something. Like, I just I don't fucking get it. I don't know. So, all right. Moving on. <laughs> moving on to more retarded rambling. All right, let's go in here. I'm sorry for the number of times I said retarded during this presentation as well. I mean no offense. If it ever sounds like I mean offense or something, just, it's a joke. It's just always run with that. It's a joke. Whatever I said, if it bothered you, it's a joke. You could go with that. That's something you can rest your hat on. You know, this is where your hat would be. So, yeah, we do have some of these berries. I mean, should we eat them? I think we should try and eat them. That seems like a thing that we would do. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, I hear weird sounds. I don't know if you can hear weird sounds. I heard weird sounds in my headphone, like a... I, and I'm not just making fart noises. That's really what I heard. I don't. I have no idea if it sounded like that to anyone else. Should we eat another one? Should we eat gray? I think I'd rather eat white than gray. I mean, just saying. These might be black too. No, they're dark gray. So let's eat some white ones. No, 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 no. How good of an idea is this? Yeah, it's like a little like fuzzy electronic beeping. Whoa! Did I just crap sparkles? Hold on. I mean, I'm not seeing any strange knowledge happening. Yeah, I am definitely crapping sparkles. Oh, that's pretty. My farts are beautiful. All right, one more, just because I, I kind of enjoy that. All right, we'll try one of the dark gray ones now. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm like a unicorn. I fart rainbows now. It's glorious. Okay, but that is not helping us. Also, so grab one of these crystals. What do we have like a billion of? 31 light gray. So I do know one thing that we need to do. Uh, also, let's sleep. Let's sleep, and I know this one thing to do, and it's to make the, uh, the the wrench or the wand or the whatever. I don't even know if it counts as the wand. I don't think there is a wand. I think this is more of a wrench, but it's called the Elemental Manipulator. Let's just keep reading here. We need to keep reading so we stop being so stupid. Uh, what is this? Items. A boom. No recipes. Boom. What did I click before that made this good? This is not getting started. World is strange, confusing, unknown. You have no idea what drives or forms. It's something you will need to learn before you can possibly begin to exploit it and bend the forces to your needs. Fortunately for you, you have a notebook of sorts, though you will need to populate it with information you collect as you explore and experiment. Uh, yeah, we don't want to save an exit. Uh, I mean, it's like seriously, there was a page that we were on that was like full of stuff, and I don't know why I'm not there now. Wait, recovery, what the fuck? Notebook? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. This is, well, I guess that's helpful. Progress. Oh, there we go. We clicked that. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, what is this? Monster Slayer. Uh, creatures can prove vicious and will need to be dealt with. Yeah, no shit, huh? <laughs> I've noticed. 
can I just, like do scroll this? Oh, it scrolls okay like that. We just use the arrow keys to scroll. Okay, uh, crystal hives. Yeah, we have found bees. Uh, as soon as it says we have forestry, we have bees. It knows about bees. Secret burrows, patches of light dot the night landscape. Some are explainable as lava or fire dot. Oh, so we gotta go out in the dark and find them. Oh, that's. That's great. That's exactly what we've been vehemently avoiding the whole game, is going on a less than honorable attempt. Are you the only one who tried to learn these magic forces? What the fuck? It's cobblestone. I don't even know what the hell that is. Okay, ocean temples. Yeah, all right. Yeah, ocean temples. Magical forest. Yeah, we know where two of those are. We could run. We will go to them if, like, the forested realm. Legends tell of a different plane covered in thick forests with giant towers and buried mazes. Is this the Twilight? Has he talked about the Twilight? I can't tell if this is a Twilight Forest log or not. But, you know, thick, a different plane covered in thick forest, giant towers, and buried mazes. That doesn't sound like anything I know about Chromaticraft, which, granted, is very fucking little. And apparently Google also knows very little about this mod. I'm trying not to have it ruined for me, so just so I'll, I'll mark all the videos we're doing anything other than like most basic Chromaticraft with any sort of spoiler warning, just if it's going to be spoilery. I'll do that for you. I'll be a bro like that. But uh, yeah, that sounds like Twilight. So then we got uh, Sandy Burrows. So I have the rare and explosive pyramids. The deserts hold other secrets. Okay, deserts. Yeah, crystals. Yeah, we figured that out. Uh, energy beacons. Yay. Pylons? Are you pylons? No. Magical trees. What is this? This is orbs of energy. Oh, pylons. Yeah, this is endless mobs. Okay, it's a spawner. I mean, what is this? Oh, the evil realm. Yeah, it's evil. Can I, like, look this up? Second layer. The evil realm seems capped. Is the cap impenetrable? Well, uh, no. The alien realm. Surely there's another more alien than that land of lava, glowing stalactites, and flying jellyfish. Oh, yeah, the end is the end. Yeah, Eldritch Nightmares. Four soul sand, three wither skulls. What could this possibly be useful for? Uh, we don't really want to grind the wither. He gets stronger. I mean, we will have to, but like, we don't want to grind him extraneously. Also, I haven't found a random division sigil yet, so I mean, that's going to be a thing that we need to do. Maybe we'll have to. I, I've never had to kill the wither to get a division sigil. Okay, so we apparently are too stupid to do anything. I mean, can this... Recipes? Is there a re recovery items? Recipes. Um, we're too stupid. This is seriously nothing. We don't know anything until we get info fragments. Alright, well guess what? I know something. So I'm going to do that. Because, again, I said we are doing this this episode. And God damn it, we're not getting stonewalled having just made the fucking book. Okay? We can use our little bit of basic chromaticraft knowledge. Take a crystal shard. I hope this works without an info fragment. Just Oh, it does. Elemental Oh, no. Illoram was pricked to death. Damn, whatever happened to her? Well, I know what kind of ish happened to her. If you don't know, I bet you if you're watching this, you probably do. Illoram was the author of Red Power and Red Power 2. She was a truly amazing developer, and she also had a massive influence on the direction of Forge, which I think there was some, some conflict there because it basically was just turning into people, you know, hey, guys at Forge, code me this shit. Because, here's a pull request, probably. I'm sure she did it herself. But like, hey, stick this in. We need it for Project Red. Or Red Power, rather. But hey, it was probably the most popular mod ever, at least until 1.7.10. I think Applied Energistics might beat it out, but god damn it, people love Red Power. That's why Project Red is a thing. People loved it enough to recreate it in like every fucking version. It doesn't exist in um 1.8 or plus yet, I don't think. But okay, so we have an Elemental Manipulator. We have... Our shiny thing. Oh my god, it's sparkly as hell. What is this doing? Alright, so, now, let's see if we can get less stupid in a way that doesn't involve me going out at night. Uh, let's go point it at this fucking thing, actually. I found that sapling a while back. I think I showed you that. This is a, like, luminous sapling or shimmering... I don't know. It's, it's a shiny tree. Look at how shiny this tree is. Isn't this a shiny tree? And when you get close to it, it drops its shininess on you. Okay, that's not helping. Alright, so, we go point this at a pylon. So, let's go find a pylon. They're fucking everywhere. 
Eventually, there's a thing called a pylon compass that will show you where the nearest of every pylon you need is. I'm a little concerned about this location, actually. We might not do a lot of... Would you fuck off? I'm trying to talk to the audience. You fucking douchebag birdball. Sick of your shit. Sick of your shit. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, um, because of the crags, it might be very difficult to beam pylon beams back to our home locale. And I do think we're going to kind of stay here. I mean, you, fuck you, I can hurt you now. The fucking eel cane bitch. Stupid deer bitch. Okay. So we understand that. Whoa! Does it do that normally? Yes, it does. Okay. This is not having an effect. But when we go and point this at a pylon, I am fairly certain that good stuff will happen. Pretty sure, anyway. Otherwise, dear God, we're going to have to go out at night. I'm thinking maybe I'm scared of going out at night. It's really dark. Like, really dark. And, of course, filled with evil. There's a kitty! Look! There's a kitty. We found a kitty. And we accomplished it. Oh, it's making that horrible howly cat noise. Gross. Fuck you. I hear that fucking in the background often enough. I don't need to hear it through the headphones either. Okay, kitty. Now, does he have... He's not a real kitty. You notice he doesn't have that little kitty asterisk butthole. Also, he's phasing through the ground. Which, I don't know, real kitties might do that, actually. I, I would... They're, they're weird. They have mystical properties. And it's a snail. Oh, that's another thing. The snails, like, install mode creatures, if you didn't. I really recommend you put it in the pack. I can't distribute it, but god damn it, it goes well with everything. Yeah, the snails, they like, they curl up and hide when you get close to them. I'm gonna kick you. Get out of your shell. I'm not gonna hit him. Okay, we're not gonna kill him. We might follow the kitty for a bit. There is a red pylon somewhere nearby here. There's a method to my madness. Madness. There. And I just figured I was just going to wander around until I start tasting red or blue or something again. And then we're going to take our shiny little rain rainbow unicorn prober. This is for probing unicorns. And other such magical beasts. Probe them real good. In the butt. With this. Maybe that guy over there. In his leafy butt. With this. But later, we're busy. Okay. So I remember, this is where I found the black crystal, and I definitely remember I both smelled and tasted red a lot in here. So this guy, fuck you, I hate you. He had some kind of fucking potion effect too. It's like extra, like buff, buff goblin. I don't like goblins. Ah, ah, I can't do it. Watch John Tron. If you don't know, if you don't get that reference, watch John Tron. Seriously, he's amazing. He also does not like goblins. Okay, light blue. We're somewhere now. We're in a place. I don't want to cut down the double high flowers, so if you could please die away from them. Ow! And stop drinking my soul. You fucking cock-smoking head... fucking headache monster. Okay, so... I'd prefer not to get zapped in the dick again. Oh, oh, so... Did, is something happening? Is it happening? I, I don't know. Is it happening? Are we doing something? Are we accomplishing? Well. Got one-shotted. Okay. So that's not what you do. So. What did we learn? Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Fine. Yeah. Fuck you. Yes, I know. Uh, normally, they don't one-shot you, and you're supposed to learn something from it? Let's see, maybe we can learn something in any eye. I'd hate to think this is just going to turn into a fucking, all we produced is a book, an elemental manipulator, and death. But I guess I'm prepared to accept that. This mod is not going to reveal its secrets easily. I mean, it's getting dark out. We can go out there and... Do shit we really shouldn't do. Like, go out there. Uh, oh, yeah, also put the map in the guardian chest. Have I ever done this on camera? Make a guardian chest. Make a bound map. Cost one level to awaken it. Cost ten levels to bind it. Then you put the map in the chest, and that's why my stuff comes back to spawn. So it's eleven levels to do that. You want to do that. I see I'm shaking my head in the affirmative. You want to do that. Definitely always do that. Don't enchant your gear with the last of your experience. Do that. Okay. 
So there's going to be random light. I mean, well, I'm fucking scared shitless about going outside in the dark. Also, as you can see, this is um pretty depleted. I mean, how much can I get out of this here if I slurp up all this? Okay, there is enough to rebind to the chest. So that's good. How's my gear? Shitty. Okay, this gear has, like, fire protection, soulbound one, haste three. Yeah, I don't want to lose that, so we got to fix it with some steel. Uh, we're going to need some levels. <laughs> this this kind of sucks. Uh, all right, so. What? Let's take a full inventory on our XP here. Okay, so 23, 24. Tw yeah, okay, there's not much left, but. I'm, we can afford to fix our gear up, so let's grab a little bit of steel for the boots, our booties, our booty. All right, we'll fix our booty with that. I'll we'll take this. I guess we'll take, we'll fix the iron helmet we have. It's cheaper than making a new one. Uh, diamonds, maybe two. Go to the anvil. We'll fix up our gear. I mean, we'll look around and see if there's anything immediately nearby, and if not, Maybe we should go check the twilight, you know? That, that I mean, I can only say think of the thing with, like, you know, Forested Realm, big towers, mazes underground, is the twilight forest. And we do have it installed. I mean, maybe that just wouldn't show up if it wasn't installed. So this fixes our pants. Okay, pants are fixed. Helmet. No, pick up the helmet. Helmet. Oh, pick up the iron. Okay, Figure, get your head out of your ass. There you go. And we need to fix our booties. Boom. 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 I mean, if not, that is what we'll do to try and be less stupid. Because that's what... The, I mean, don't you don't even try and look shit up in any eye. Because I'll show you something. We go to... Chromatic Revy. I am stupid. I'm in trouble even spelling it. And I'm like, let's go look and like see the crafting table. Like I can find that here. This are you the craft? You are the casting table. That's what we want. A chroma collector. We're definitely too stupid for that. For this, I'm pretty sure casting table is level one. So let's just be like, R. Oh, we're not too stupid to to know this anymore. Wait, what are these? Why are you blink? Why are they blinking? We're too stupid to understand that. Are these different? Are these just regular crystals? Can we like... I feel like those aren't regular crystals. Um... I wonder what the, the shiny liquid universe shit is. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Does, uh, the shiny liquid universe shit. Okay, if you did see it in previous episodes, you would know what I was talking about. Maybe we like chuck the crystals in the magic shiny space goo it moves wicked fast too if you break a block like it's it's purple with stars in it like it's liquid that's purple with stars in it and if you break a block that contains it like it spills super fast like many many times faster than even water spills it just instantly spreads out to its maximum possible distance it's it's kind of weird let's um First, let's take some crystals. So it looks like just four any old crystals. Now, I'm not really thinking that, that the ones we have are going to work. Because I think there's like blinky flavors. Look at all this. Look at all these freaking things here. Heat relay. Tile accelerator. 256. Think Torturino. 256 times tile acceleration. I don't understand how that's not a lag circus. It will not, admin note, will not cause more than one millisecond lag. So it's one millisecond. So what do you lose? Like one? Is that a whole a whole tick? I don't know. That's it's not a lot of time. One millisecond. Really? I mean, that blows me away if that's true. What is happening? Oh my god, there are demons. You! Fuck you! What is it? You're, you're hiding. You're behind my evac route while I'm trying to think. Also, dork, why are you. Do you stay broken? I'll just fucking replace it, you know? I don't know. Just break it. Okay, use use the axe. Don't be stupid. Use the axe. Also, I think we want it like that. No. No, no, no. We don't want it like that. We want it like this. Yes, we want it like that. Good. Alright, so... See, glowy doos down here. It looks like any four glowy doos works. But we don't know how to make one of these shards glowy. Like... 
I don't know. Just fucking give me a couple of these, I guess. I don't know, four of them. Maybe we'll go chuck it in the fucking glowy space coup. I don't know. And then we'll go to the twilight. I Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. All right? I have no idea. I'm trying to, shall we say, I uh, will honor Riker's wishes and actually try and sort this shit out on our own before immediately hunting down Google. Also, uh, good luck with finding just an explanation like... You know how you want to learn how to do Thomcraft? You can just like, how do I do Thomcraft? And it'll be like, yeah, here's how you scan everything. And then you build the fucking research table. And here's how you solve the puzzles. And then you chuck shit in the crucible. Then you start build, doing alchemy things. And then you got bottles of it. And you infuse stuff and golems and blah, 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 blah. Just for, like step by step, here's how you Thomcraft. That's not a thing. There is no, here's how to chromatic craft. Although I did see a... An article on the Feed the Bee subreddit in very recent days. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. It's somewhere around here, though. There it is. Space goo. Ethereal Luma. Um, take this. Take it. Take it. Okay, that didn't do shit. So, we break this. Or, I mean, do I not have... I, I seriously don't have a fucking pick? Hmm. Okay, give me a pick. Boom. Oh no, yes I do. Put this away. Here it is. Bleh. I don't need an axe because we're underground. Just watch this. Watch this craziness. Bleh. Just, 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 just fucking liquid space goo. I don't know what the hell it is. It doesn't push you as fast as it flows, but I mean, just wow. I just Let's just see that again. Also, let's try not to actually destroy the source blocks of it because... Bleh. Bleh. One more time, just so you make sure you take it all in. Ooh, just like, and then, bleh. we grab it, we put the block down. And it's like, I heard a chupacabra, chupacabra, chupacabra. And it's not like the Atlanta craft guys; they're always yelling about chupacabras. And you know what? Every single time, fucking Cody yells about a chupacabra hat hit going after him. It was, it's never a chupacabra. Okay, every single time I hear them, they go, "Oh God, chupacabras." Like, no, it wasn't a chupacabra. It was just fucking some random ass bullshit. No, this actual chupacabra is chasing us all the time. They are super fucking common. So, all right, we're going to the twilight. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the twilight. And we're going to pretend that that will help us progress. Like, we're not fucking... I mean, maybe the burrows are easier to find. Oh, my charcoal's done. I want that. I just, I run through this area and, like, all of the chores that need choring and automating. Greg, everything is so hard, Greg. Why'd you do this to me, Greg? You fucked me again, Greg! What the hell? No. I I, 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 I put Greg Tech in the pack, obviously. I, I clearly like it, in spite of I talk about how he's constantly fucking us. Me. Us. 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 We're a team. We're playing this together. Presumably, you're playing along with me, so, you know, hey, we're playing. We're a team. We're trying to solve this brutal challenge together. All right. Two buckets. That's cool. Because two buckets will make the whole, uh, make, it makes the infinite water source. me four things. I don't really want to... Let's take half the poppies here, half the dandelions, and then, I don't know, what is it? It's eight, 12? It's 12. 12 blocks. So, uh, I kind of want to alternate them. You know, it should look good. So let's go, like, somewhere. Let's go somewhere. Let's go over here. I don't know. Freaking, we can just break and make a new one or whatever. Who knows? You put over here. I don't know. Eh, I got some random Batania nonsense over there. Let's go over here. Let's like right, I don't know, here. Here's good. Here's a spot. I sincerely hope this doesn't cause a large volume of lag when I go and create the new dimension. Although, I fear that it might because we are generating another dimension. And as we saw from the nether, that went shitty. I mean, it worked fine after that. Nether runs great now. Runs fine. It's all all's good. No no problems. All's good in the hood. But um, yeah. Look at these freaking swirlies, dude. They look so cool. I want them. I need them. I need that shit in my life. So boom boom. If anyone actually does not know, this is how you get into the jump jumping snail. Jumping snail. Jumping snail. Quarried stone. Oh, that's a nice looking block, man. Squared stone under here. One block of it. I assume it's like more of it, like right under here. Squared stone. Let's just, uh, let's reveal it. 
Boom. Quartz stone. It's right there. We can get some. I like the abyssal better, but hey, quartz stone, real nice too. It's much less abundant than, like, say, marble, which is what I generally use because it's more abundant. I, I, where's my hole? I can't find my hole. I, I, I fucked it. I fucked it already. Oh, it was snail. Where's my hole? Okay, here we go. Snail. There's the hole. Let's get this shit off here. Let's put this here. Let's put this here. And then, what you do is you make a two by two by one hole full of liquid refreshment. Not beer, it needs to be water. I, 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 if you thought I meant some sort of alcohol, then you're wrong. It has to be water. I mean, I appreciate your enthusiasm for having a good time, but it has to be water. So let's do that. I need them to be fucking balanced, okay? I need that. So it's going to be every other one. We will place the opposite color flower. We do that, and then here you go. Now it's surrounded by flowery goodness. Why don't I have a freaking diamond on me? Are you fucking shitting me? Am I that dumb? I don't even know how to open a twilight portal. Look, dude. All right. Not in the mode for your bullshit. Get out of here, Clops. Did you see that? How he, like, stopped short? Normally, those things would just book it straight at you. Just beeline right for you, try to run into you and do damage. That is from Epic Siege Mod. They'll, like, try to deke you out and shit now. They'll, like, they'll stop short, or they'll dash at you. You know, just a couple extra things to be more evasive, and to, so they're not, you know, stupid as hell. So they'll try and do some stuff to throw you off. We'll take some blocks. We need some blocks. I guess we'll take this coal, you know, because I can't actually... Please don't... Okay, there's quarries down there, because I can't actually... Um, what's it going to stay? Yeah, just checking our axe head. I, uh, can't... Blah, blah, I can't remember what I was trying to say. Yeah, it's totally gone. I totally forgot what I was saying. Oh, I can't make more um, cold coke. It's full of creosote. So, as you can see, full of creosote. Also, you know what? There you go. Put that in there. How much torches do I have? Bunch. Also, nether banner. Nether banner from the trip to the nether. The mostly successful, barely and barely and even resulted in a little bit of death. Like, hardly any death at all. I, I, are you serious? How many of you people were face palming as you saw me leave the building without the diamond that we need to activate the portal? Because this is how you activate the portal, but you probably already know that. If you don't, that is how you activate the portal. Two by two by one, surrounded by water, with flowers, diamond in, put out the fire. Fucked it. You, you, you fucked it too. Eat a dick. Okay. Now I gotta put more flowers here. Later. I mean, we'll do it later. But okay. Here we go. Twilight. Blah. Okay. Let's go. Twilight arrival. Blam. Achievement get. Boom. We win. We're awesome. Okay. Um, we're back. We um, clearly had a little bit of a technical difficulties as things. You know, generating world, generating dimensions. Yeah, we have, we've had some trouble with that. The um, I mean, this, you see the size of the pack. It even says in curse, extra large is one of its properties. So things are stressed to the breaking point. I mean, it's, it's not a doubt about it. But I mean, you can't say it isn't fucking awesome. The selection of mods is amazing. It's epic. So here we are. We're in the twilight. This is a Luma Lotus. This is the same thing that was here. I mean, canopy tree wood. This. I mean, let's look at this. Let's pop this shit open here. God damn it. I'm going to stop being so stupid. We're going to try. And I mean, I'm not. I am my fucking farting fireworks. I don't understand. Open the book. Stop fucking crapping fireworks. Uh, recipes. Click this. Boom. Let us do a little compare and contrast here. And click. Oh, 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 yeah. Right. Hit right. For some reason, I was thinking the controls are reversed because reasons <laughs> i don't know but uh this log looks like this log would you not say so forest of realm legends tell of a different plane covered a thick forest giant towers and varied mazes that's here i don't know what that does for us but there might be chromatic craft structures here and we might see them glowing so let's just take a little look around i mean this might be a multi-episode thing i got a zamba 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 do say zamba zamba this is the fucking cave. Okay, I see crystals. I see ore. Fiery ore. Is that a dark gray crystal, actually? Is that like the. Because dark gray is the one color we're missing. 
Also, there are, like, hefty supplies of mithril in here. Why am I shitting fireworks? I don't understand what is going on. Something wacky happened during that crash, so maybe we're going to get all of the friggin' achievements again. Yay. As if that doesn't happen often enough in modern Minecraft. Your achievements... I don't know. It happened to me a bunch of times in a bunch of packs, so don't... I can't just blame me. I mean, you can blame me, because I am the dev. So, I mean, it's, it's, if it's anyone's fault, it's mine. Maybe it's no one's fault. Let's run with that. It's no one's fault. It's, um, Jeb and Dinnerbone. It's their fault. God damn it. Fucking breaking shit. I'm gonna be ungrateful about it. Thank you. Sorry, you know, I'm gonna be a dick about you. All the hours of immense joy you've given all of us, but god damn it, there's too many bugs. Nah. It's a very, actually, it's a surprisingly complex game. Like, when you think about just all the shit that it's doing. Okay, Torchberries. I know we need that for progress. Wait, whoa, 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 I saw something. I saw a thing. What was I looking at? Was it torchberries? Was it this? Oh, it's just this. It's just more rock gibberish. More rock gibberish. All right, I don't, I mean, we got torchberries. I know we need these. I mean, they make torches. No shit, huh? They make torches. Uh, down here. Oh, is there electro team down here? So there's a fair amount of ores, I guess. The, um, yeah, I guess Vanilla World Gen gets fired off here. I know that Greg Tech does special ores. Okay, this is definitely a dark gray crystal, which is, I think it is anyway. Could you, could you fucking click it? Click it! You can't break it. Can you not break it? Break it with the book, and I'm crapping fucking fireballs again. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I can't break it. I can break that. I can't break this. It's also not glowing. I... Uh, I don't got it. I don't know. I have no idea. That's a crystal hive. I mean, that's... Those are, uh, light bees. Okay, we got... We got some visitors. We got quantities. We got fucking quantities of visitors. You know what? You guys can just eat a bowl of dicks. This is a thumbcraft node. No, it's just... Oh! Does it makes uh, it makes just it makes just random sound when you walk on it. Kind of neat. All right, you know what? I don't feel like fighting all these guys. We're looking for a burrow, honestly. I think we're gonna stay stupid until we find the burrow. So let's try and find a burrow. I mean, I'm assuming they're here. Maybe he alluded to the fact they're here. Wait a minute! 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute. Be smarter than when you were in the Nether. Poor Tal whom. I have realized this video is going on has been going on for quite a long time now. We're at like forty five something minutes. So we're gonna we're gonna limit our expeditions here. It is getting late. My wife probably wants to go to sleep and not just sit here and listen to me spewing this glorious bullshit. It's bullshit. We'll take some of these. We'll take some of these. Yeah, give me that. Boom. Take them out. I'll replace it with regular torch. It's a distinct downgrade. It's too bad it's a single player. We can collect some cicadas and um, annoy people with them. That's the thing you can do. Okay, portal home. 44 meters. Don't get lost. Do not get lost. Boop. Put that. We gotta replace them. There's a, let's not go in the Lich Tower. I don't think that's a good idea right now. May, I mean, maybe. I think we could take them. No, nah, I don't think we could take them. I think we want enchantments first. Something. Anything. To fucking help us out. What are these? These, um... Crappy Stonehenge. Sure. What do we got here? Nothing? Anything? Nothing? Is that blue thing? Bird? It's a bird! Hi, bird. Wee bird. It's, it's a wee bird. Wee bird. Oh, come back here. Oh. Okay, we're not here to chase birds. We have birds in the overworld we can chase. What the fuck is this? We got several fucking crystals here. I have lost any and all ability to fucking break these things, though. And I don't understand why. I used to be able to just break them with my sword. I mean, hold on. I don't have the diamond pick. I don't have the diamond pick. I don't understand, though. Because this thing is not... I mean, I'm holding down left mouse click on them, and it's not... Fragile and not easily moved. Yeah, fragile. My ass. I have no clue what is wrong with you, but I can't break them. They just broke in the old world. Like, not with the Greg Tech picks. And we know we had that problem, because they're not... You're, you're fucking... You are hoarding this shit. You're a coven witch. What do you have in here? 
What is this? Rowan berries. Ooh, okay. Don't mind if I do. Sorry, man. Well, she magicked out of here. Or she's going to stand outside. It's one of the two. Nah, she's just standing outside. Also, she's crapping. Oh, that's the crystal. Crystal particles. I don't know why we can't break them. I don't know if, like, you know, I'm going to reload the map and it's going to work. Or, like, this is really weird right here. Whatever this shit is going on. This is some kind of physics is happening with this. Mm-hmm. That was that's definitely physics. Probably science. Spider! Fuck off! I'll take your present, though. And your, your string, I guess. This is for the May, May apple. This is a May apple. Well, it's broken now. So that doesn't help anyone. I hear lava demons. What is this? Redstone ore. Pyrope ore. This is, this is so vain. It's a great tech vein. Yeah, this is another pyrope vein. I hear lava demons. It's very clearly hear lava demons. I don't see light, though. I mean, dude, these crystals are fucking everywhere. Some of them are glowing, some of them are not. I don't know why I can't break any of them. I am hopeful that maybe a reload of the world... Oh, there's a Scarlet Afrid over there. Maybe a reload of the world will do it. We're not going to do that right now. Okay. We're going to try and find... Seriously, I don't I don't know. Should, do I need the diamond pick or something? I didn't need it in the overworld. I just break them with my sword or my hand and like it wasn't all a pain in the ass about things. I don't know. We've had a couple bugs. The game's a little traumatized. This is not a burrow. I don't really know what to look for, honestly. I've never seen a burrow. Or maybe I have. Back, I mean, I really don't know what I'm looking for. So, let's go over here. Let's look around. That's gross. We don't want that. It's fucking grossness. Alright, so... We'll scan this immediate area a little bit. I figure we'll be able to see the light coming out of things. What kind of ore is this? What is this shit over here? There is something going on with this. Bastinacite is Bastin Bastanacite. Bast bastard is Bastard ore. It's Bast Bonds Knight. Neodymium. Oh boy, this is rare, isn't it? This is fucking rare. This is Neodymium. I don't know what Bastinacite meant. Yeah, Bast Bastinacite. I don't fucking care, okay? Bastard face ore. But uh, Neodymium. I mean, that makes some pretty sweet magnets. And I bet you pretty sweet magnets are very important. So, I don't know. We're not going to call this vein Bastinus either. We're going to say Neodymium. I, I, or I don't know if that's spelled right. I don't care. You know, I already look like a moron with the bastard or. So, let's not call attention to my spelling errors at this time. There's more sludge. Why is there so much sludge? There's too much fucking sludge. We got polluting the twilight forest too oh it's you it's fucking you oh took it oh well, i knocked him off we're taking it do you gotta like hold on let's play with this just real quick you're not doing your annoying thing i feel like you're supposed to do something i don't even know where to begin so should we you know honestly it's starting to look like we aren't gonna just stumble across give me the give me the crystal give it to me why uh torch berries i don't know light lead the fucking crystals dude they are everywhere so when we need more shards we know we can come here if we can figure out how to fucking break them, that is. Okay, maybe maybe I'm speaking a little too soon here, seeing as how we cannot seem to manage to broke defy any of these crystals. Actually, like, that's working, but how come... How come I can't break things with this? Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what is wrong. I accidentally clicked that when I was screwing around with, um, coming back from the crash. I was trying to play it cool, like everything's fine, like I didn't drop into creative mode and do admin stuff. And then I fucking made dumb. Oh god, look at that. Okay, well, I actually deleted a segment of video while I was in, you know, I spawned back in creative mode. And my wife is whispering at me, not so quietly. I mean, it sounds quiet to me because I got headphones on. Like, survival. Dude, you're not in survival. And I'm like, yup, oh, I'm dumb. Okay. And I'm like, oh, I can just delete this video. And. Now look at here we are. It was under my face cam, and I was in fucking 
adventure mode, and that's why you can't break the crystals. So you can't break the crystals in adventure mode. Is this, like, toxic? Is this gonna hurt my face? Or is this regular rain? Is this just normal rain? Ow! Nope, hurts my face. It's acid rain. Stay away from it. Bad. I was gonna say, it didn't look like normal rain, and it's raining awful hard and, like, localized to just right here. <laughs> so this is we don't go there we don't we don't speak of this we're doing a lot of stupid things so okay clearly my grand plans to start on chromatic craft aren't gonna work yes i know howling kitty apparently we're not gonna do chromatic craft i tried all right i tried for all of you i did my best um we'll see if there's an emote for this uh would be good uh mm. What is good here? Face palm? I mean, I guess we could face palm. Maybe we should just do Gangnam Style instead and just call it a day. <laughs> you know? Or, um, shaft the head tilt? What is. Okay. I have to know what that is. Shaft head. Oh, yeah, try again. Tilt. Oh, it's like creepy exorcism stuff no that's not that does not appropriately convey the disappointment for the fact that we couldn't do that let's just go with um hmm uh shrug yeah i mean we tried yeah eh, i did what i could i was trying to i'm gonna hunt for burrows um i can't say we're gonna be doing or trying this again in the next episode. As a matter of fact, we're probably not, because we got like 800 billion other things to worry about. But uh, if you want to join me again and come and worry about those things, probably Greg Tech related things. Because I want I want electricity. We live in like fucking cavemen here, and it sucks. I want power. I need the juice, the juice to flow, dude. It needs to happen in the next episode. Uh, probably some storage. I see red circles all around me. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you are enjoying the series, you can feel free to click that like button. I would appreciate it very much, and it really helps out the series and the channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can add those to the comment section below. Although, I mean, concerns, hopefully there's not too many of those, you know. If you are generally concerned, I will answer you, but... You know, thank you very much. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying it and you want to see more content like this and other games, there'll be other games. I'm just really into Minecraft right now. Then you can feel free to subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. To the channel. And enjoy more sweet gaming time with me. And hopefully other sessions will be more productive. Because yes, I'm aware all we really did was make this unicorn probe. That's what it is. This is a unicorn probe. It's for probing. Oh my god, I shit fireworks again. I have no idea. Oh, wait a minute. Does this thing shit fireworks? I'm so confused. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.